1960s and the 1990s, several economies in Asia stood out above the rest. Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and South Korea. Known as the four Asian tigers, or dragons, as some would call it, they managed to achieve consistently high economic growth. In the 1970s, Taiwan even emerged as the second fastest growing economy in Asia after Japan. But everything began to change in the later part of the 90s. The economy then began to shrink. The slowdown also coincided with the rise of China, which offered a cheap manufacturing alternative to Taiwan. All of a sudden, Taiwan lost its competitive advantage. Singapore and Hong Kong's growth numbers surged ahead, leaving Taiwan at the bottom of the four. Today, the tiger has lost its role. Anemic growth, high cost of living, stagnant wages, and rising youth unemployment have put tremendous pressure on President Tsai Ing-wen to fulfill her election pledges. With local elections just around the corner, what really set Taiwan back? Taiwan, uh, to the 90s, uh, is a two-party politics. There are a lot of conflicts between political parties. This results in a lack of representation. This is the second thing. The third thing is that 啊的心态，所以对这个国际化、自由化的这个啊政策呢，啊就不是很啊大力的推行啊。那第三个是中国因素啊，那这个中国的这个崛起，当然影响到整个的这个啊台湾的经济的啊大环境。The electronics businesses are now under threat as China moves up the value chain. Unlike South Korea. Taiwan has not been able to establish its own leading global brands. Well, I think the one key thing that the government needs to think about is what other alternative options the government has in terms of transitioning this economy. It's currently reliant on the IT sector and the services industry, and this is sort of the cutting edge part of Taiwan's economy now, but it's not going to be sustainable in the long run. China is going to develop that kind of competitive advantage over time, and so Taiwan needs to figure out a way to wean itself away from sort of over reliance on just the IT sector. Actually, Taiwan in recent years, with the IT sector, the technology level is high. Originally, the technology level is high, and the technology level is low. In recent years, the technology level has been gradually improving. For example, in panel, LCD panel. 或者是其他一些科技的产品，目前除了 IC， 其他的产品它都可以做得出来。比如说你一台 computer 里面，几乎所有的零组零部件它都做得出来，只差那颗芯片。所以台湾其实倍感压力。Coupled with stagnant wages, slowing down of productivity growth, and skills mismatch, most of Taiwan's most talented young people are moving abroad for better work opportunities elsewhere, including China. The problem of brain drain has so far taken a toll on its economy, despite efforts to try and reinvent itself. Beijing has recognized the need to offer, you know, rather attractive packages for for those people. As we know, there is a political component to that strategy as well. It's not only attracting Taiwanese talent, but it is、uh, sparking a brain drain in Taiwan. Uh, and also, China today still needs、uh, some of the skills and education and talent that only Taiwan can provide. Younger people are finding more economic opportunities、uh, in China, and they can find decent-paying jobs or higher-paying jobs in China with lower costs of living. So it's becoming an attractive alternative rather than staying in, in Taiwan. If wages are stagnant, if the benefits are not there. You cannot fight the economic forces. People are going to find better alternatives elsewhere. 
重点是说，大学毕业生，你企业用得到用不到，也就是说，你产生了一堆可能，这个什么都懂也什么都不太懂的这些大学生，他没有一技之长，所以说呢，这个企业呢，他很难运用这些人，再加上我们刚刚提到了这个投资有限，那所以说呢，很制造的这个工作机会也就相对的比较。有限，那所以使得很多人，很多大学毕业生呢，他们都没有办法找到一个他们自己比较喜欢的工作，而使得这个台湾的这个大学毕业生的薪水，在过去二十多年、三十年来都没有改善，都没有增加。Thirty-five-year-old Taiwanese Jamie Yu has been working in Singapore for the past four years. Like many Taiwanese. The sales director says that low wages and lack of job opportunities back home were some of the primary reasons that prompted her to venture abroad, and she has put the blame entirely on the inability of the successive governments to expand the job scope for the people in Taiwan and inject vibrancy back into the economy. I think one of the things I came to realize after moving outside of Taiwan. Is that although there was no specific driver to drive me out of the Taiwanese job market, but once I move abroad and I am exposed to the international market, it's difficult to go back. For example, I'm working for、um, a global company in an international market, but there is no similar roles for me back in Taiwan. That's doing the same thing. The、um, the job market is, is not as broad. It's covering the domestic market of Taiwan primarily. And for that,、um, there is bigger markets、uh, located in Asia, for example, like China, like Singapore. The things that we like to see change is to have、um, better policies that are、uh, incentivizing the job market, creating more job opportunities for the younger generation. Because a lot of people that are working now in Singapore are actually very young. So、uh, we're hoping that can change in the future.